It's Mark Wiens. I am in Saigon, Vietnam, and I am sitting down for a bowl, another bowl of noodles, but this is a, a bit of a different type of noodle and a bit of a different, it's almost like a stew, and it's called ban can kua. I have just ordered up my bowl of noodles and they are really the really like thick they almost look like udon Japanese udon noodles they are thick and look very um, like look very kind of sticky um, and jellyish uh, but then the main the main component of this bowl of noodles is the soup and which is crab based so it's almost like a it's almost like a gravy style of a of a broth there's some pork here's a quail egg um, I have no idea what that is. Is that a mushroom? A mushroom? Uh, but then there's there's some nice crab over here. Um, there's a big prawn, a lump of of congealed pig's blood, or maybe I'm not sure what type of blood actually, but congealed blood. And then this might be like a I have no idea, but it's some kind of crab, maybe a crab meatball or something like that. And then it's topped with a handful of green onions and some black pepper. Let me just taste the soup first. Well, that is like that is like crab flavored gravy. Oh, that's that's marvelous. But they have a big nice basket of limes and then chilies for garnish. So I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze in some lime first. Squeeze in that that lime juice. Add in a nice scoop of. This kind of looks like yeah. This might be green and red chilies, I guess. Add in some chili. Just sort of whirl that. Oh, look at that. I'm going in for, okay, let me grab a piece of the, the crab. Try to slurp down some of the noodles. Mm. Oh, the noodles are very slippery. Mm. I think the noodles might actually be made of tapioca starch. Um, but they are, they are really slippery um, and really soft. And and really kind of sticky, but really good. Oh. And that piece of crab, that boneless piece of crab was amazing. And many people are also eating with a Chinese donut. So this is a Chinese donut that has been sliced up already, and I'm gonna dip it into the the soup. I'm just gonna dip it up into that gravy. Oh yeah, that's like bread and gravy, crab gravy. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna move in for this, this like crab meatball. That's good. Yeah, that's like a, that's like a crab hot dog in a, a random shape or in like a crab shape. That, that's really good. I can taste onions in there and garlic. And then with that, with that crab soup or that crab gravy, um, kind of coating it, that's awesome, awesome. <laughs> You've really got to kind of use your chopsticks and your spoon at the same time, because these noodles could literally slip out of your bowl. If you're not careful, they're slow, slidey. Oh, look at that beautiful bite with crab and noodles and gravy. Oh, beautiful. All right, shrimp. Oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with shrimp. I just finished slurping down all those noodles. Actually, kind of like almost sucking, sucking down those noodles because they're so slippery. You can just kind of like slurp them up and they go down so easily. Uh, but that, 
that is a winning dish indeed. Uh, if you love crab, the, the, the soup, it actually almost ate more like a, more like a stew than a soup noodles because the, the gravy is very thick. Uh, and I have to say those, those chunks of boneless crab were the highlight of the bowl. That was just wonderful. Uh, but I want to say a huge thank you to all of you who recommended that I try this restaurant. Fantastic recommendation. This is definitely a wonderful place to try Ban Kan Kwa if you ever visit Saigon. Uh, so huge thank you for the recommendation. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, uh, and yeah, I'll subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you on the next food video.